Will you continue to excuse yourself for not believing on the basis of what other people are saying about the Bible and end up, by doing so, being condemned to the eternal flames? Or will you listen to what the Bible says? And will you trust in this Jesus Christ, the Son of God who became man, who offers himself to you as a savior? And remember, you don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. Nobody deserves it. But God offers him out of infinite love. Will you trust Jesus and receive him as your savior, who offers himself to you? And by the way, Jesus does say that if you are willing to come to him, he's not going to hold you back. He's not going to cast you away. He's going to receive you if you come. Will you trust Jesus? Will you turn from your sins? Will you begin to live the kind of life that he calls you to live? And remember, what he calls you to do is not a bad thing. What he calls you to do is the right thing, to love other people, to love him, to do what is right, to stop injuring people and taking advantage of people and taking things from them that don't belong to you or promoting yourself over their backs, as it were. That's what the Lord, that's what offends him. That, that's what's sinful. And when you treat him as though he doesn't exist or you treat him as though he's your servant or you treat him as though he's an enemy, those are sins against, again, infinite love. What God is calling you to do is absolutely good. It's absolutely right. It's something you should want to do anyway if your mind and heart were working properly. It's what you would want to do. But again, the fact that God wants you to do what's good and you don't want to do it just, again, shows you the sin that's in your heart and the character of that sin that keeps you away from God. It is evil, as our Lord Jesus also says. So what are you going to do? Jesus says the road that leads to destruction is broad, and there are many that go in that way. But the road that leads to life is narrow. And there are few that go in that way. The Bible says that you're on the broad road. If you haven't trusted in Jesus Christ, you are on your way to destruction. So will you continue to walk down that road and go into the wide gates of hell that every day are swallowing up so many people? Or will you turn into the narrow path by trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ? The Lord calls you to turn from your sins. Why will you perish? Why will you die? Turn from your sins and live. 